This melt in your mouth fluffy lemon mallow slice starts off with a biscuit base, lemon cheesecake layer, and then it's topped with a snow white homemade marshmallow. Let me tell you, homemade marshmallow is unlike anything you've ever had. It's melt in your mouth, delicious and just divine. This dessert is so easy to make and it just screams happy weather with its lemon yellow layer. Let's begin with the base. So today I'm using Buttersnap cookies, but you can use any vanilla cookie you like. We're going to add that to the bowl of a food processor and blitz that until we reach fine crumbs. Then you want to add some melted butter and blitz that to coat the crumbs. We're going to pour that into a 9 by 9 inch square baking tin, which I've just lined the bottom and sides with some baking paper. And then I'm going to use the back of a spoon to firmly press it into the bottom of the cake tin. This is going to go in the fridge to chill. Let's move on to that lemon layer. I'm going to add some boiling water and powdered gelatin to a heat proof jug and I'm going to whisk that together. Set that aside to cool slightly and then you're going to add some cream cheese which is softened to the bowl of your food processor which by the way I cleaned. You're going to blitz that until it's nice and creamy and then add some sweetened condensed milk in there. This is going to help sweeten it obviously and you're going to blitz that until everything is mixed. You want to scrape down your bowl and you're going to add some lemon zest and the juice as well. Blitz that. Now optional, but I'm going to add a little bit of yellow food gel in here just to kind of give us that nice light yellow color. Optional, but I think it makes this dessert look a little bit happier. Plus it's only a little bit. While the mixer is on high speed, you're going to pour that gelatin water mixture in there and this is done. Pour that mixture into your cake tin and we're going to pop this in the fridge to set for one hour. Let's move on to the marshmallows, which if you've never made these before, like I said, they're really delicious, but they're actually really easy to make. So add some boiling water and sugar to a heat proof jug or a bowl. We're going to whisk that together until it's completely melted, then sprinkle your gelatin on top and whisk that in until it's dissolved. Let it cool down slightly for about 5 or 10 minutes before you pour it into the jug of your stand mixer. You can use a hand mixer for this, but I have one of these and it's just so much easier to make. You're going to fit this with a whisk attachment and you're going to whisk this until it resembles thick glossy meringue. About five minutes. You want to work quickly here because this sets really quickly. So you're going to pour it on top of that set lemon layer and spread it around as flat as you can get it. Then this is going to go back in the fridge to set. Once it has, lift it out of the cake tin and you're going to just basically slice it up. Now, here's a little handy hint. If you want those really nice defined layers as you cut this, carefully wipe the knife as you do each slice so that it has kind of like a clean knife going through each layer and there's no residue being put on the next cut, if that makes sense. I don't know if I worded that right, but anyway, this is delicious. I would love for you guys to try it. The recipe is on my website, thescranline.com. The link for that is in the description box below. Now, if you would like to try other recipes, I've got them up on screen right now. Thank you so much for watching and joining me in my kitchen today. I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scranline.